Alright, hey guys, we're starting up a new segment on the YouTube channel, and it's going to be called Two Minute Tutorials by Anime VFX. We're going to roll the intro now. And basically, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be making shorter tutorials, try to keep it around two minutes, and we're still going to be creating really cool effects. But this is just in case you don't have time for those 12 or 15 minute tutorials. And we're going to keep it nice and short and we're still going to make some really cool effects. So today we're doing a watercolor transition. And basically it's just a transition that fades and bleeds very, very nicely and very softly into the next scene. So we start off with this uh, sky scene in the background and then it's going to bleed through very softly with a little bit of uh, focus in certain areas into the next scene. So this is what we will be creating today, and it is a very, very quick transition. So we're going to start off in a new composition, and right now I just have our two clips set up. So we have the grass clip, and we have the sky clip. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually create a luma mat. So we're going to go up into layer, new, solid, and we're going to create a white layer. So grab color, drag it all the way to the top, select OK, and OK one more time. And now once we have this solid, we're actually going to pre-compose it. So we're going to right-click, pre-compose, move all attributes into the new composition, select OK. And then we're going to double-click this, jump into our composition. And now we're going to add a black layer. So go to Layer, New, Solid, oops. Layer, New, Solid, and this one is going to be black. OK. And we're just going to drag and drop that right on the bottom. So we have the white one on top, the black one on the bottom. Then with the white one selected, go into your effects and presets and type in burn. So this is built into After Effects. Everyone will have this. It's called CC Burn Film. Drag and drop it into your white solid. And make sure your time indicator is right at the beginning. Keyframe the burn at zero. Hit U to open up your keyframe viewer and scrub across to one, maybe 1 1.5 seconds. Crank up the burn to 100. Grab both of your keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And now this is going to give us that luma mat that we were looking for. And so if I jump into our watercolor right here, so this is our main composition. All that I have to do is with the grass layer selected, change the track mat to luma inverted mat. And if you can't see this, then you have to hit toggle switches or modes, and that will show it to you. So I'm going to select the Luma inverted mat, and now we have this very, very nice watercolor fade transition. And what's nice about this is I can scale and position this however I want, and it's not going to actually, it's not going to move the grass clip because it's uh, only on a Luma mat. So we can move this around wherever we want. And that's going to change how the effect looks as it fades into the next one. So anyway, that's it for the two-minute tutorial. Hopefully I didn't go on for too long. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe.